Hi, I'm Tina, the Director of Admissions here at Columbia Bible College, and today I have with me Stacy, our Worship Arts Program Director. I'm going to ask her a few questions. Stacy, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself and why you love the Worship Arts Program? Absolutely. So I grew up in Alberta, actually not BC, on a sheep farm. And um, I have three older brothers, and so there's lots of fun stories I could tell about that, but I won't. Um, but uh, when my first time ever worship leading was at college, actually, um, at Trinity Western University. I led something called Sunday Night Alive, and they gave me an hour every second Sunday, and no instructions on what to do with it. So the first Sunday I led, I picked all my favorite songs, because I thought this is my chance to pick all my favorite songs. And it was fine, uh, but I could tell that there was something missing. So that for me started a long process of discovery, um, of pushing into what is worship, how do we understand it, what does it do in our communities. Um, and that's really what eventually led me here to this program. And what I love about the Worship Arts Program at Columbia Bible College is the way we continue to be able to, to really push into those deep questions of um, what is worship, how does the Bible describe it to us, and how does it change us, uh, which is the, the focal point probably of our program here. Awesome. Stacey, are there any special features of the program that you would like to highlight? Um, yeah, one of the things that I really appreciate about our program is how well-rounded it is. So it's not a church music program, it really is a a worship program in a holistic sense. So um, you're gonna learn theology of worship, um, how worship um, can be led in a pastoral way, so some pastoral theology, as well as, of course, music and um, being strengthened as a musician and how other art forms interact. And the other great thing is we have a number of teams on campus that you can be involved in. So we have chapel teams uh, that lead every Thursday. This year will be a little different. Um, and we have a Vespers team that usually um, does a student-led service on Tuesday nights. And we have a traveling ministry team that goes out and leads in churches in the community. And because we're a smaller campus, um, there's much more opportunity to be involved on those teams. Um, so we hold auditions in the fall, and if you're thinking about coming this fall, you can audition right away when you come, and we might put you on a team. Why would a student wish to enroll in the Worship Arts Program? It's a good question, and I'm actually gonna flip it on you a little bit, Tina, um, because what I would like to do is talk about the two reasons you might not enroll, and how those are actually misconceptions. So there's two reasons why students typically don't enroll in the Worship Arts Program. And the first one is because, well, it's how many jobs are there gonna be in the church? And the good news is um, we actually, from our, our BA program, we have um, over 80% hireability rate within a year of graduation. And that's a pretty incredible stat for any bachelor's program to be actually employed in your area of work within a year of graduation. Now, not all of those are full-time positions, but there's lots of ways to be creative because um, you're an artist anyways. Um, there are ways for you to be creative with that. And so there's lots of worship arts grads out there serving in local churches and farther away. So it's very, very hireable. We really do teach uh, a set of skills that's marketable. Um, the other misconception uh, that we often come across is, well, I can't do it, I'm not a worship leader. <laughs> well, that's why you go to school. <laughs> so when I started at, at university, I didn't think I had the capacity to lead worship. I didn't think anyone would call me their worship pastor. Uh, but over time and with the development of skills, um, I, did, I did learn. So if you feel like you don't have what it takes, don't let that hold you back. Um, if you are um, musically talented, if you have some gifts, um, even if you're not that strong musically, like we give you a chance to grow in that area. Um, so come, try it out, um, give yourself at least a year and see how your skills grow and develop. I think you'll surprise yourself. You might surprise yourself. Do you have any alumni stories that you would like to share? Yeah, so many stories that we could share um, from our department. So we have right now 
um, three alums who are um, in full-time ministry at Northview Church, um, and, and they are all in slightly different roles. So it's interesting watching kind of their skill set grow and develop and how they've kind of differentiated their skill set in that way. Um, we have actually my worship pastor um, did a worship arts minor, and we hired him straight out of his BA. Um, and his wife um, is also a worship arts minor, and she's now pursuing a degree in design. Um, so we've got a combination. There's quite a number of stories I could tell you about um, worship arts grads who are currently in local churches, uh, leading worship as worship pastors, some part-time, some full-time and we try to keep in contact with them as much as we can. Are there any signature courses that students get to take in your program? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, one thing our program does really well is step you through kind of a combination of theory and skills. So um, obviously you'll have some private lessons and theory instruction and things like that, um, but you'll start right away in the fall with Theology of Worship, where we really look at kind of the biblical understanding of worship and how that um, how that lands in our churches today. And then from there we move into introduction to leading worship where we really learn the basics of how do you plan a service? What does that look like? What different kinds of prayer are they and where do they fit in a, in a given service and things like that. Um, so that's a really practical toolkit course. And then from there we move to um, pastoral worship leadership and look at some of the people aspects. So how do you say no to someone <laughs> if they really want to be on a team and they just aren't quite there in their skill level yet? How does that work? Um, how do you do a wedding? How do you um, help a family plan a funeral? Um, and some of those really practical people things as well as kind of how do you help a congregation with what they need instead of just what they want? So some of those big picture questions. Um, and then as you go into third and fourth year, we're gonna push deeper into some of those things. So we have a worship arts senior seminar where we really hash out some of the controversial questions in worship leadership. Um, and a course called Theology Through the Arts where we look at some other art forms and how they really can contribute um, to our understanding of the biblical text. And that course is lots of fun because I take people on field trips and we go to the pottery studio, which is my secondary avenue of art. Um, and so I really enjoy all of those classes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, Stacy, thank you so much for all of that information about the Worship Arts Program. And thanks to our viewers for joining us today and finding more about Columbia. If you have more questions, please contact us. We'd love to talk further with you. Absolutely.